yourself and tell my viewers what this is all about. Hi, hey, Steve Falk, President of the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce and also a, a co-founder of the Alliance for Jobs and Sustainable Growth. And the Alliance is, is a coalition of uh, business organizations, labor organizations, and, and, and civic organizations that believe we need to get this hospital project once and for all off the ground. And tell my viewers about the hospital project you may not know about. You know, first of all, there's a state mandate that requires hospitals to be seismically safe. And there's a deadline. So hospitals need to put shovels in the ground and either rebuild or retrofit the hospitals. CPMC has a, a wonderful proposal to build a state-of-the-art hospital here in San Francisco. And the rally here today is an organization of, of business folks and labor unions joining forces to say, let's put 1,500 people back to work building this hospital. Let's protect 6,000 hospital jobs. This will inject $3 billion worth into the San Francisco economy. And we need to get the project going. We've been in negotiations now for six years, and it's time to get the project over the finish line and What's the hold get up? the What's building. Going on? Well, there's obviously with a project this big, there are lots of, of local residents. There are concerns uh, about the size of the project. So there are lots of special interest groups, and you know, over the years we've been dealing with all of those concerns. We think we've we think CPMC has has moderated all of those concerns, has come up with great alternatives for uh, those who are concerned, and now it's time to move forward. If someone watches wants to help, what should they do? In other words, well, if they want uh, to to let their local drive side, by and blow horns, right? I'm sorry to say. The most important thing people can do is call their local supervisor, their their representative here at City Hall, and encourage them to vote yes on this project and get it moving forward. Thanks. This crowd has actually grown in the past 10 minutes. So. Pacific Medical Center, but we were delayed. CPMC has proposed three billion in new facilities and services at no cost to taxpayers. One point one billion of that going to provide health care for low income and uninsured people in San Francisco over the next ten years. And our favorite part. The other 1.9 billion goes into the economy to build two seismically safe hospitals and other medical facilities throughout the city. And that's a good deal for San Francisco. After six long years of public reviews, hearings, comments, now is the time to rebuild. here with my union brothers and sisters, colleagues from the city's diverse health care network, medical providers, City Build alumni, all whom are ready to work and ready for our hospitals to go to work for us if and when the big quake comes. Yeah. I'm tired of hearing that the community opposes this project. We are the community. Yeah. And we are for this project. Yeah. We represent organized labor, health care providers, hospital workers, 
neighborhoods, and business. To kick us off this afternoon, I would like to welcome Dr. Ed Kirsch. In addition, in addition to being a cardiologist and chief of staff at St. Luke's Hospital, Dr. Kirsch was part of the Blue Ribbon Panel, which identified recommended service lines for the new St. Luke's Hospital. Dr. Kirsch. Thank you, Tim. My name is uh, Dr. Ed Kirsch, and I am the chief of staff of St. Luke's Hospital. Uh, since there's such a great union turnout here today, I guess I can say I'm like the shop steward for the doctors. Anyway, for as long as any of us can remember, St. Luke's has struggled with the means to stay afloat. We were saved in 2001 by our affiliation with Sutter Health, and then they made us part of California Pacific Medical Center. Unfortunately, in 2005, CPMC proposed closing St. Luke's, and at that time, the medical staff of St. Luke's Hospital organized and fought back. We fought back with our vision for a sustainable community hospital. We formed a coalition with representatives of city government, the unions, academia, and community groups, and we convinced CPMC to rebuild St. Luke's as part of their plan to comply with the state laws that mandated seismically safe hospitals. The result of all of this work is that CPMC became St. Luke's strongest ally, and ironically, vice versa. So, we are a hospital on the front lines every single day. We have some of the best doctors in San Francisco who are dedicated dedicated to our mission. We know what our patients and the citizens of San Francisco want. Seismically safe hospitals in which we can deliver quality medical care and have the ability to do our duty in case of catastrophe. Today, just this morning, I sent a letter to Mayor Lee I have invited him to come to our next medical staff meeting on July 28th. The doctors of St. Luke's Hospital want to let you know, Mr. Mayor, just how important rebuilding St. Luke's Hospital is to the people in all of the neighborhoods of San Francisco. This project is about the delivery of health care in San Francisco. This project is also about the jobs that will build two new hospitals. Yeah. This project is about the jobs of the people who will work in those hospitals for decades to come. Yeah. 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 To conclude, in 1871, Dr. Thomas Brotherton, an Episcopal minister and physician, opened the doors of St. Luke's Hospital and gave us this mission statement. St. Luke's doors are open wide for the reception of everyone. Its benefits, refused to none, will be limited only by its means. If this project is not approved, the state will mandate the closure of St. Luke's Hospital. So, Mr. Mayor, I again invite you to come and visit with us so you can find out why the means to our mission depends upon your approval. It is time to do the right thing. My name is Ed Kirsch, and I'm the chief of the medical staff of St. Luke's Hospital. Doctor, what is the problem? Why can't we put this get off the ground? What's the problem? Well, it's not that it can't get off the ground. There have been years of planning to put this project where it is today. Uh, CPMC and St. Luke's Hospital are linked together in this project, the building of two new hospitals in San Francisco. In order to get the hospitals built, there are certain entitlements for, uh, from the Planning Commission and zoning things that have to happen. And the city is making a lot of very unreasonable demands on CPMC in terms of the monies that they want them to pay in order to do this. CPMC has uh, come back with very generous offers and uh, we're at that point now where it's going to be crunch time. Have you heard from the mayor's office? I know you mentioned contacting the mayor's office, but have you heard? Who has the mayor said to you thus far? What's who is what? What has the mayor said thus far on this? What, uh, what's the I, think, I think the mayor hasn't made up his mind about what's going on just yet. He's, 
He's uh, taking information, he's uh, feeding it back to us, he's listening to us, and I think that um, within the next few weeks we're going to have uh, some decisions, and that's why we're here today. Hey, thank you. As a new immigrant to this country, the economic hardship has prevented me from seeking So I just left the mayor's office, and the gentleman there says that no one is available to represent the mayor to offer a statement. They all went out to lunch. Well, stay tuned. The same local citizens who will eventually be patients in the hospital.